Heine is quality made in Germany. What we do here at Heine is we develop, manufacture and distribute primary medical diagnostic instruments around the world. Our primary diagnostic instruments are used in disciplines ranging from ophthalmology to anesthesia and also obviously uh, dermatology. Today we employ 550 people around the world and in fact this year we're celebrating our 65th anniversary. When we talk about Heine quality made in Germany, there's really something behind it. And one of the things you'll find at Heine is a very deep level of vertical integration, which means for optical precision instruments, we manufacture all of our own optics, we manufacture our own thermoplastics. In fact, we manufacture the tools to injection mold the thermoplastics. We do our own uh, metal plating of instruments, and of course, we do the final end assemblies and checks here. And what we're able to achieve with that is to control all the critical manufacturing processes in the creation of our products, so that when we say Heine quality made in Germany, we can be absolutely sure that we deliver what we promise. The Dermatoscope, of course, was developed here together with Heine and the University of Munich. We work very closely together with different universities and different medical professionals. And in fact, the interesting story behind the Dermatoscope is that it was a story that goes back to my grandfather. It was the last major development project that he was involved with. He was the founder of the company, and he took my grandmother to the dermatologist to look at a pigmented skin lesion and found that they didn't have an appropriate piece of equipment to do the diagnosis. And that's what initiated, actually, the development with the University of Munich and with Dr. Professor Brown Falco to develop the world's first uh, contact dermatoscope. Image is everything. And the image and the quality of the image is determined by the precision and quality of the optics as well as the illumination system. And when those two come together, then the end user has a very high quality image to make a reliable diagnosis. In dermatology, because the end user or the professional is looking for very small nuances in regards to color and structure of a pigmented skin lesion, it's even more important. And that's exactly the quality that you'll find in the Heine product. We are using dermatoscopes actually in the daily practice. So starting with residency, the young doctors learn how to use it in dermatology and how to really use it for the judgment to cut out a lesion or not. So let's say I do my examination with the naked eye and I do see some pigmented lesion I, and I doubt is it benign or not or is it at all a melanocytic pigmented lesion or not, then I use the dermatoscope to do my final judgment. In our clinic, the development of the Handy Dermatoscope was done 20 years ago together with the cooperation with the company Heine. And they developed this instrument and also developed an algorithm to judge between good or malignant of a nevus. So let's say I would look at the lesion and then after the ABCD rule develop some scores, some, some points and if the score is above 5.45, for example, I would really say very suspicious for melanoma. It's similar to the ABCD rule we have with a naked eye examination but still a little bit different. So dermatoscopy has, um, for example, the possibility to look at certain melanocytic structures which you could not see with your naked eye. It becomes more and more important to do a skin cancer screening because skin cancer itself is the cancer with the highest uh, rising incidence during the last decades. So we have good data that there is a steep increase both for the non-melanoma and for the melanoma skin cancer. And that is for both ages, so both for the elderly people with non-melanoma skin cancer, but also for the younger ones with melanoma. So I have 20 to 30 year old youngsters already suffering from melanoma. And if this cancer has set metastasis, which can also happen already in the early age, um, it's fatal. So you can have metastasis up to the brain and lung, liver, and then therapy is tough. However, if you detect the lesion early enough, we can cut it out and the patient is cured. And the earlier you detect it, like premalignant lesions or in situ lesions, the better is the chance that it has not already metastasized. The requirements of a good dermatoscope are, on the one hand, it needs to be robust. So even if I drop it, it should still survive that. Um, we move it also from one table to the other and it needs to have a good mobility. Some doctors even want to take it into their doctor's coat to go with it somewhere else. And on top of this, certainly the optics needs to be very good um, and the illumination needs to be bright. So when I look 
through it, it needs to have a very good um, light. Lastly, the possibility to do photo documentation is important also for follow-up of the lesion or for showing the patient what I just did. Photo documentation is good to do for several reasons. One is I have the possibility to store the picture, to put it on an electronic device and then for the follow-up look, has the color changed, has um, the lesion grown, so that is one thing. The other is to show the patient himself the picture and demonstrate him, let's say, what I just saw on his back and to give him an idea what kind of lesions he actually has. Uh, then we also use it um, at university for teaching purposes, for the education of our residents, of our students, and to show them this looks malignant and this is more a benign lesion. If you look at dermatoscopes of Heine, you will realize that they have all one thing in common. They are all contact dermatoscopes. That means that you place them onto the skin of the patient to really do your diagnosis. There is another technology available that Heine is not going with, which is polarized dermatoscopes. These are dermatoscopes which you hold further away from the skin, and by the way of their optics, they prevent that you have reflections from the skin. What Heine does in this case is that we put oil onto the skin, and like that, we can see into the first layers of the skin, which is a proven fact that it serves for better diagnosis in this case. The thing is that you don't only use Heine on flat surfaces everywhere on the body, but you also have some spots that are hard to reach. In that case, what you can do is you simply exchange the contact plate, putting a contact plate with a small glass head that really enters into the knuckles or things like that. So when we're talking about dermatoscopes, another really important thing is photo documentation. Not only does it enable you to document the development of a lesion, but it also enables the doctor that he could interchange a picture with a colleague and they could both give their opinion about how good or bad something would be. Another possibility is also to use it for documentation of different examinations and teach pupils with it. And then it's really important that you're able to connect the dermatoscope to a variety of cameras that are available on the market. And that is well possible with Heine. We have an adapter that enables you to go with pretty much all of the single lens reflex cameras that are there on the market. So when we look at the Heine dermatoscope itself and its illumination, we find that it's LED illuminated, a state-of-the-art technology. We have six LEDs that are arranged in a circular shape around the contact plate onto which you will put the dermatoscope in contact with the patient's body. It's not only very important to get a very bright image and therefore you need light intensity, but also you need to be able to get a good contrast. For that we have included a feature with which you can shut off three of the LEDs. By doing that, it really gives you a good three-dimensional image of the lesion you're examining. So another feature that we have included in the Heine dermatoscope is really high precision optics with a 10 times magnification. These optics are grinded in our own house, in our own optics grinding facility. It's therefore high quality German glass optics and we have integrated also a focus head. So therefore you will always make sure to get the best possible image of your patient. Heine has quite a large department of research and development engineers. But on the other hand, that is not really where the ideas come from. It's the doctors we need to talk to. They are using our instruments on a daily basis together with their patients, and they are the ones who give us the most valuable input when we want to further develop our products. Heine is distributing its products in more than 120 countries worldwide. But not only that we are selling through a vast sales and distribution network, it's also that we're using this network in order to get in contact with the users of our products. Because only like that we are able to get back feedback from the markets and from the users that will then help us to really improve our products in further development steps. So today, many things are the same as they were when my grandfather founded the company 65 years ago. He set out to manufacture the most exacting, high-quality primary medical instruments that there were available at the time. Over the years, we've continued that tradition through myself and my father's generation to continue to develop exactly the types of products that the people who we work with in universities and in the marketplace demand and to make sure that they're manufactured to the very exacting standards to provide both the quality of image 
but also the reliability so that the product performs the same way after a thousand or two thousand applications as it did when it first came out of the box. And that is what Heine Quality Made in Germany stands for.